Hello friends, this is Owen Fernandez once again from The Win Is Within You. Today, I'm going to share on the topic of being joyful. Now friends, joy is unlike any other emotion. The noun joy is at the root of joyful from the old French joy with its Latin root of godere, meaning rejoicing. Now it is difficult to define joy. However, it can be described. To be joyful is beyond just being happy. There is a delight and a kind of bliss involved in feeling joyful. Unlike happiness, which we often feel as a result of things outside of us, it means something must happen. Joy is something that is cultivated within and internally. It is a unique combination of satisfaction, peace and intense positivity that provides what many describe as a spiritual experience. While happiness can come and go, joy is permanent. Thus joy is a deep spiritual based attitude and it is a fundamental part of your true being. One thing important to note here is that joy can live together with anger, sadness, grief and even fear and thus you have a choice to be joyful. Now when you are joyful, your whole body benefits, especially your heart and your mind. In fact, research shows that joyful people have less chance of having a heart attack, healthier blood pressure, low cholesterol, weight management and decreased stress level. You may ask me, how can one be joyful? Mikhail Spiegelman shares three ways to be joyful or full of joy. Firstly, she says, give yourself permission to be joyful. I repeat, give yourself permission to be joyful. Now friends, being joyful has different layers. When you are in pain, physically or emotionally, or when you are anxious, it might feel impossible for you to be joyful. So what do you do? When you are in pain, try leaning on joy and thus it can help you shift to being hopeful. Now when you are hopeful, lean on joy, it can help you to shift to be trustful. And when you are trustful, leaning on joy can help you shift to being peaceful. So give yourself permission to be joyful. Allow yourself to connect with the deep sense of knowing that you are okay no matter what. That's what joy is all about. Second, connect with the kid in you or as she says, your six-year-old joyful self. Now when people tell you that they have no idea what being joyful feels like or simply they don't remember the last time they felt this way, try to ask them a simple question. What did you like to do when you were a child? What filled you with joy when, we, when you were a playful kid with no stress of life and living? Now for me personally, it was great joy to spend time on the playground playing with my friends. Whatever game, it could be a game of cricket, hockey, football or even just playing marbles. I remember sometimes getting to read comics, comic books was a huge joyful experience for me. What is it for you? What brought you joy when you were a child? And finally, number three, collect evidence of joy. Now for most of us, joy is underrated. We are mostly programmed to pay, to pay attention to the negative. We have gotten used to fear, anger, sadness and grief. Stop collecting evidence of negative emotions and start collecting evidence of joyful moments. To start with, it doesn't have to be big. Simply make mental notes or even physical notes on paper of small joyful moments throughout your day. Here, an 
attitude of gratitude becomes extremely important. You might be surprised by the major shift you feel when doing something as small as redirecting your focus. Try it and is and as you and I know where your focus goes there your energy flows. Finally friends our lives are made up of what we choose to look for. Intentionally choose joy and let me assure you you will find it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please comment and share. Also you could go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Remember the win is always within you. We are here to help you be victorious. We believe in you and we believe you can. Stay safe. Be joyful always. See you soon. Ooh, the wind is within.